Hi, I'm Rodol, and this is my strudel recipe inspired by Fantastic Bees and Wharton Fiber. The idea was to recreate this scene from Fantastic Bees, where a strudel is made using magic. After a bit of research, I found that the effects on this scene were made by the company Cinecide. They made a computer-generated copy of a strudel. Using techniques like blend shapes and animated textures, they were able to create a digital pastry. So, the goal for today's episode is to recreate this recipe. With some more information provided by Cinecide, I decided to look at the steps to make a strudel. And from there, I separated those steps into small tasks that were more simple to make the recipe. And when mixed together, we got the pastry. To make the dough, we need to start putting some salty flour into a recipe. From there, a simple blend shapes will do the pile row. You also are going to need a simple recake to crack it in half, like this. Okay, this one doesn't have yolk, but let me fix it with some fluid simulations, like this. And now, well, remember to mix it until it's a uniform texture. Now, we can mix this hair to the floor with more fluid simulations. And to get the perfect texture here, I take in consideration the height of my liquid. Now that the top is more solid, we can use some blend shape magic to make it a ball. At this point, you can watch me suffer, play with the ball, or just use your hair as reference to make the braids, because these are a little tricky. Fixing the geometry on the sides and using other blend shapes, you can dot with a beautiful braid as beautiful and perfect as mine. Okay, you can laugh at me at this point because I started doing this part originally, and my monkey brain at that moment never thought to use blend shapes and sculpt the blend shapes. So I ended up creating a super complex rig where each bone has a constraint that copy the rotation of the previous one. This, I wanna think, allows me to create this natural spiral on the apple peeling. But it was a nightmare. This time is never going to come back. Never. It never does. The rest of the apple animation was quite simple compared to the peeling. Just grab the original apple model, use the knife tool, Cut some slices and cubes, and there you go! The slices are used to create the rosettes. Each rose is made by four pieces animated using blend shapes with the help of a simple rig. Mogons need to do this process separate, but we, as digital wizards, can put the filling direct to the dough. Some rigid body for the apple cubes, particle system for the cinnamon, the sugar, and the raisins. And finally, we close the strudel with more magical blend shapes and we wait till it's cooked. And now, this beautiful strudel is done and ready to eat. After 50 hours of learning how to make a digital strudel, here is what I learned. Blend shapes are going to be your best friend, so don't be afraid to use them, because it's going to be better than creating a rig to peel an apple. Your first try is not going to be as good compared with professional team or real life, but it's better than nothing. I hope that you like this, and if you are interested to know more about how I make this digital strudel, Go and check the link down below in the description. Now, if you excuse me, I have an appointment with Monica. I prepared a trick for you. I hope that you like. That's great. Okay,